Good evening. In a major embarrassment to the Kerala BJP and its leaders, Joske Mani of Kerala Congress M said BJP traded 7,500 votes to his opponent, National Congress Kerala leader Mani C. Kappan, who contested as Congress led UDF candidate in Pala Assembly constituency. A two time Lok Sabha MP from Kotem and chairman of the Kerala Congress M, who left the Congress to align with the CPM ahead of the elections, Joske Mani told a news channel that similarly the BJP traded their votes to UDF candidates in four other places Kaduturiti, Kanyarapalli, Poonar, and Changanashiri assembly seats. The BJP's vote share between 5,000 and 7,500 in these five constituencies will come down this time, proving the vote trading, Joske Mani added. Earlier, Janapaksham leader PC George publicly admitted that a large number of BJP votes were polled in favour of his party in Poonar Assembly constituency. BJP State Vice President J. Pramila Devi contested as NDA candidate from Pala seat in the recently concluded Assembly election. In the 2016 Assembly election, BJP candidate N. Hadi bagged only 24,821 votes. However, this time the party hoped to close 30,000 votes in favour of Pramila Devi. Earlier, BJP national leader R. Balashankar claimed that Joske Mani of Kerala Congress M was willing to join the NDA and the BJP state leadership spoiled the opportunity. Relating to the denial of party ticket to contest from the Chengannur Assembly constituency, BJP national leader R. Balashankar said he was denied ticket because of the distorted vision of the BJP Kerala leadership. He also alleged that the party's state leadership has reached a tacit understanding with the CPM in two seats to ensure the victory of party state president K. Surendran in Koni Assembly constituency and CPM candidate Saji Charyan in Chengannur Assembly seat. In connection with the April 6th Assembly election, Joske Mani managed to get 12 seats from the CPIM-led Left Democratic Front, including some sitting seats of the CPM, proving a tough and skillful negotiator. When the party was in UDF in the 2016 Assembly elections, both Joske Mani and another faction of Kerala Congress led by PJ Joseph collectively fought on 15 seats. This time, Joske Mani himself is in the electoral fray from his father's seat, Pala, facing sitting MLA and former NCP leader Mani C. Kapan. Kapan, who had rested the seat in a by-election in 2019 while part of the LDF then, quit the alliance in last January when he was denied the seat and crossed over to the UDF. Joske Mani's father, late K.M. Mani, holds the record for being the longest-serving MLA in Kerala Assembly, representing his home constituency, Pala, from 1965 till 2019, uninterrupted. He was a minister in seven Congress-led cabinets between 1975 and 2015. Thank you.